What are the seven spirits of Elohim? Uh, the seven spirits of Elohim are like, well, I have said it, I don't know if I said it today, but well, first of all, Yahweh has one spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. If we can, uh, the Ruach HaKodesh is as, as his wife and the wisdom through whom Yahweh created everything through the word, but the wisdom is also the will of Yahweh through his will, through his wisdom, the Messiah created everything for the Messiah is the word. So the wisdom is in thought, the word comes after the thought. So the father as the mind, the ruach, the spirit as the wisdom, and the word Yahushua as the one who ended up creating everything. Now in Isaiah, in Isaiah 11 we read, there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Yishai. Yishai was the father of David. There shall come forth a branch, a rod, from the stem of Yishai. We just read that Yahushua, the lamb, is the root of David. So the stem, the branch, would be the second coming, the last. There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Yishai, a, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him, the Ruach HaKodesh. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, spirit of counsel and might, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of Yahweh. Well, he just said, the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him, as in the Ruach HaKodesh, which has the truth and the testimony. The testimony of Mash Messiah, Mashiach, is the spirit of prophecy, and the spirit of truth is the confession of his name as sovereign, Yahushua HaMashiach. So, the spirit of Yahweh, spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, spirit of counsel, spirit of might, spirit of knowledge, spirit of fear of Yahweh. Because the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, so through the fear of Yahweh, we go back to the beginning of the spirits. So we see here seven mentioned. It could be said, like I said at first, the Ruach separated in six, as in six days and the Shabbat. So six spirits, which together become the seventh, as in the Ruach HaKodesh as a whole. But the fact that he mentioned seven, we could also see it as, well, I repeat, it's like the seven weeks of, uh, I mean, the seven days of the week of which the Shabbat is special. So the Ruach HaKodesh as the Shabbat and the rest of the rest, of the, the rest of the days of the week. So those would be the seven spirits of Yahweh. But the seven spirits of Yahweh are manifested through seven Malachim, as I have already said, the seven angels mentioned in the book of Enoch, of which Mikael seems to be the leader. And according to other books, the seven angels led by those seven spirits, which are above the seven congregations, they were emanated or sent from the third heaven to the second heaven to expel Samael when he rebelled. And they remained in the second heaven in a way like a, well, helping Yahweh from the third heaven maintain everything together in the second heaven because eventually Halel who received power when Samael fell would also rebel who is Lucifer and Mikael would have to take his place just like David took Saul's place so Mikael as one of the seven being in the second heaven since Samael fell awaiting for the time when he would be able to receive authority through Messiah in order to take Halel Lucifer out of the power that he has had over this reality for all human history.